never happened to predictability. The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends who ain't just around the bed. start Rachel's car. She's currently in the HEB parking lot with all the food we need for dinner. And I'm Googling, there's like a neat little diagram that you can see how to jump start a car. Excellent. And are we positive that we're gonna be able to figure this out? I only have one degree in physics. So, were we successful on our HEB trip? No way. I would call it an e food. We're at the Wheatsville Co-op. It also is a cooperative. And you know, fun fact, you can actually find the seven pillars of cooperatives literally painted on pillars inside. Hopefully we'll get to collect all seven. Who's joining us today on our trip? Uh, Brandon Curtis and Jennifer Garrett. That's Jennifer. I believe that there's a definite, clearly superior system of measurement, which is the imperial, not the imperial, it's the metric system. And for some reason, you, you decided to, instead of take something that makes a lot of sense and is easy to use, you just measure things in body parts, and somehow decided that that was the way to go, and just carry it on and on and on with it, and then you come up with Fahrenheit, which is even weirder, it's, it has a multiplication, and then a plus sign in there instead of being an absolute interpretive like Kelvin is or Celsius is. My point is, it's f you shouldn't be using it. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, so I'm Angus. I used to live here in Laurel in fall of 2014. Uh, sadly, don't live here anymore. But one of my enduring legacies is this crocodile. So the history of the crocodile, uh, there was a uh, Halloween party at Laurel in 2014. And uh, I came dressed as Steve Irwin. And what costume of Sea Irwin would be complete without a crocodile? So I bought this wild crocodile, brought it along, got absolutely wasted, but we left the crocodile here and everyone loved it. And uh, as I found out the other day, we still got it here. I think it's been through several iterations, but it's still, it's still the original croc. So, yeah, Beautiful. there we go. And what does it look like now? Uh, look, back in my day, I would not deflated like this, but... It's a porcupine. That's not true either. You're right. You can't just be misinforming people like this, so... The first page of Google results. The whole page. For Savannah Job Man. How many results are there? Give her the name. Like, you know, You're it says how many results page. there are. She's I literally the whole not. first page of Google results. I'm the only Savannah Job Man in the world, I'm telling you. The only one. I don't know Holy the whole world, shit. but I think How I'm many results are there? You know, okay, it says... one, two, three. No, 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 okay, no, but no, like no, the total, no, like total number? Yeah. Well, no, it says at the top, yeah. at the top, at the top. 106,000. They can't all be her. I'm the only person that has my name in the entire world. She fucking is. Apparently. Nut cheese. What's it made of? Creamy whole cashew milk. Sounds like an aberration. The big difference. The zucchini has this spot right here where you got, you know, cut off from the plant. A cucumber does not. A zucchini is usually a little bit bigger. And a cucumber has a smoother skin. And this cucumber is never cooked that I know of. And it's used for salads and served raw. Zucchini is always cooked in, in this house. Okay. Is that good or bad? So bad. But it's several.
how rude of chickens to have skeletons. It makes it a lot harder to just... I mean, especially when you're trying to eat a lot of them quickly without applying much effort at all, it gets really inconvenient. It's not very considerate of them.